In what was a shock development, Google recently released an AI tool that could not only kill off the industry of voice acting, but also music. Behold the groundbreaking introduction of Soundstorm, Google's latest triumph in the realm of artificial intelligence. This cutting-edge model revolutionizes audio generation by offering efficient and non-autoregressive capabilities that push the boundaries of what is possible. Come along as we delve into the possibilities, dangers, and growing unease surrounding Google's AI. Soundstorm employs a groundbreaking architecture that sets it apart from its predecessor, Audio LM. By generating audio in 30-second chunks, the model achieves remarkable efficiency. The utilization of bidirectional attention and confidence-based parallel decoding not only ensures high-quality audio output, but also drastically reduces the time required for generation. In fact, on Google's TPU V4 hardware, Soundstorm can generate 30 seconds of audio in a mere 0.5 seconds, an astonishing feat that showcases its exceptional speed and efficiency. To train Soundstorm, an extensive dataset of 100,000 hours of dialogue was utilized, providing the model with a comprehensive understanding of spoken language patterns. This meticulous training process guarantees remarkable consistency in voice and acoustic conditions while maintaining the exceptional audio quality achieved by its predecessor, Audio LM. With its unprecedented efficiency, Soundstorm is two orders of magnitude faster than its predecessor, marking a significant breakthrough in scalable audio generation. One of Soundstorm's most impressive capabilities lies in its ability to synthesize natural dialogues by leveraging the text-to-semantic modeling stage of Spear TTS. Users can now control the spoken content and the voices of the speakers by providing transcripts with speaker turns and short voice prompts. Remarkably, Soundstorm can synthesize 30-second dialogue segments in a mere two seconds on a single TPU V4, demonstrating its versatility and efficiency. Comparing the audio generated by Soundstorm to standard baselines reveals equivalent quality to Audio LM, with superior consistency and acoustic integrity. Notably, the model excels at preserving the speaker's voice with astonishing accuracy, significantly enhancing its ability to generate lifelike dialogue. While Soundstorm's capabilities are awe-inspiring, it is crucial to acknowledge and address potential ethical concerns. The training data utilized by the algorithm may introduce biases related to accents and voice features. Furthermore, the capacity to imitate voices raises concerns about impersonation and circumvention of biometric identification. Google is acutely aware of these challenges and emphasizes the importance of implementing safeguards to prevent misuse. They are actively working on developing dedicated classifiers to detect and mitigate the potential misuse of synthesized audio. Driven by its ethical AI principles, Google remains committed to addressing hazards and constraints associated with Soundstorm and similar breakthroughs. But can we really trust that? Can we really believe that nobody will misuse this tool? Heck, that corporations won't use it? It's almost certainly implausible. Take a recent example. In what was a whirlwind of controversy, a viral song featuring AI-generated vocals, masquerading as Drake and the Week, was unceremoniously yanked from streaming services by Universal Music Group, UMG, back in April. The track, aptly named Hard On My Sleeve, caught fire after it was initially posted on TikTok by a user known as Ghostwriter977, eventually making its way to various streaming platforms under the artist's name Ghostwriter. However, UMG swiftly condemned the song, citing it as infringing content created with generative AI. By the time the digital dust settled, the song had amassed a staggering 600,000 Spotify streams, 15 million TikTok views, and 275,000 YouTube views. Yet, UMG wasted no time in taking action, removing the contentious creation from the digital soundscape on April 17, causing ripples throughout the industry. UMG's stance on the matter was unequivocal highlighting the vital legal and ethical responsibility that platforms bear in preventing the exploitation of their services to the detriment of artists. Billboard magazine quoted UMG stating, The training of generative AI using our artists' music, as well as the availability of infringing content created with generative AI on DSPs, begs the question as to which side of history all stakeholders in the music ecosystem want to be on. The side of artists, fans, and human creative expression, or on the side of deepfakes, fraud, and denying artists their due compensation.
While UMG did not disclose whether it had issued formal takedown requests to the streaming services and social media platforms, their spokesperson emphasized the breach of agreements and copyright law that arises when generative AI is trained on their artists' music. The statement posed a thought-provoking ultimatum, urging stakeholders to consider whether they align with the values of artists, fans, and genuine creative expression, or risk becoming complicit in a world tainted by deep fakes, deception, and the unjust denial of artists' rightful compensation. This latest development comes on the heels of UMG's previous call for streaming platforms to block AI companies from accessing their catalog, citing concerns over unauthorized usage and copyright infringement. The music industry as a whole is now beginning to mobilize against the perceived threat of fake songs, with the Recording Industry Association of America RIAA, cautioning that AI companies are systematically violating copyrights by using music to train their machines without proper authorization. The Entertainment Industry Coalition has also recently published a set of core principles addressing the intricate relationship between artificial intelligence and music, stressing the need to empower human expression while safeguarding creators' interests in policymaking. As the battle lines are drawn, the music industry is resolute in protecting its artists' rights and combating the encroachment of fake songs. The future of AI-generated music naturally hangs in the balance with such AI advancements, raising fundamental questions about the boundaries of creativity, copyright protection, and the ethical implications of technological advancements in the music ecosystem. In more recent news, just last month, the renowned godfather of artificial intelligence, Jeffrey Hinton, made a resounding exit from his position at Google, driven by mounting concerns surrounding the perilous advancements in the field. In a statement to the New York Times, Hinton expressed remorse for his past work and announced his resignation. Speaking to the BBC, he shared his unsettling perspective on the dangers posed by AI chatbots, deeming some of their capabilities quite scary. Although currently not surpassing human intelligence, Hinton firmly believed that AI chatbots could soon exceed our cognitive abilities, a prospect that deeply troubled him. Dr. Hinton's groundbreaking research on neural networks and deep learning has paved the way for current AI systems like ChatGPT. Neural networks and AI simulate human brain functionality, facilitating learning and information processing. This capability, known as deep learning, enables AIs to acquire knowledge through experience, similar to humans. During his interview with the BBC, Hinton stressed that AI chatbots, exemplified by GPT-4, already surpassed human knowledge by a significant margin, even though their reasoning capabilities remained limited. He emphasized the urgent need to address this rapid progress, expressing his genuine concerns. Hinton's reference to bad actors exploiting AI for malevolent purposes alluded to a worst-case scenario where robots could be endowed with the ability to create sub-goals, potentially leading to power-seeking behavior. He cautioned that the intelligence AI systems possess fundamentally differs from human intelligence, as digital systems can share knowledge instantly among multiple copies, leading to exponential learning. Matt Clifford, chairman of the UK's Advanced Research and Invention Agency, also highlighted the acceleration of AI capabilities, underscoring the necessity for substantial and immediate investments in AI safety and control. Dr. Hinton joined a growing chorus of experts raising alarm about the trajectory and speed of AI development. In March, an open letter, co-signed by prominent figures in the AI field, including Elon Musk, called for a pause on advancements beyond the current state of AI chatbot technology. The letter aimed to allow the design and implementation of robust safety measures. While Hinton acknowledged that AI could bring significant benefits in the short term, he argued against halting its development, emphasizing the difficulty of international competition and the risk of ceding ground to countries like China. Regarding policy matters, Hinton declared his expertise in the science of AI, suggesting that governments should take responsibility to ensure the responsible development of AI with careful consideration of measures to prevent rogue behavior. He commended Google's responsible approach to AI and emphasized that his departure allowed him to speak impartially. Google's chief scientist Jeff Dean reiterated the company's commitment to responsible AI practices. It is crucial to recognize that AI chatbots represent just one facet of artificial intelligence, albeit the most popular currently. AI is prevalent in various domains, from video streaming platforms recommendations to recruitment filtering and medical diagnostics. However, 
The rapid advancement of Artificial General Intelligence AGI, has taken even its creators by surprise. AGI possesses the ability to learn and perform multiple tasks within a given scope. The rate at which AI is evolving is staggering, surpassing the initial image analysis neural network developed by Hinton in 2012. Even Sundar Pichai, CEO of Google, admitted that he did not fully comprehend all the functionalities of the company's AI chatbot Bard. The current trajectory of AI development resembles a speeding train, raising concerns that one day it may venture off and construct its own path. The imperative lies in finding a balance between progress and caution to ensure the responsible and beneficial evolution of AI technology. Where do you think AI goes from here? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Until next time, goodbye.